don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Got my support. You got my support. So ladies, you do need to understand who you are also and how to operate. But getting back to uh, young men, because this is mainly who I'm, I'm trying to tell you how to do this. Now, after she has talked, she must learn to give you respect. Cause, and the key is, if you have sat there and let her talk for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time, and you have not said anything, and if you do say something, then she said, wait a minute, and then you can step back out, you're doing right. Because you got to learn. You got to learn. I had to learn. Sometimes I would jump back in and I said, okay, just let me say this. I just need you to explain that little word that you just said. Just explain. I'm back out. Because I need you. I'm listening. I don't want to listen a long time. I don't understand what you're saying. But if I listen long enough, I'm going to catch on. I'm going to get it. Okay. So once you have allowed them to talk now it's time for them to let you talk because you have given you've shown them how to be respectful so you're leading right there now when you start talking and she can't jump and she's jumping in that means she has not learned how she's she's still learning that proves that you're above her you're disciplined you know how to shut your mouth and let her go and now it's time for you to go now you have, because you have earned the right now to be able to speak without interruption. But she don't want to give you that. That's your sign that you're dealing with a difficult student. You're dealing with someone who, who does not know how to be a student. A student means you are able to listen to your teacher of the person who is speaking. Okay. So while she, you have just proved to her that you gave her authority and you know how to be a student and you got to sit and listen. You reverse that role. She can't do it. Now she doesn't know how to be a student. See, that, that tells you who's the leader right there already because they don't know how to do it. And they think that they have a right to interrupt you because they didn't get it. That's like a student in the classroom. You, you go, you're in college. The teacher's up lecturing. Most of the time they're lecturing. Now, if they give you a, an environment to where they say you can raise your hand, or but basically you're taking notes. You go home and study, read the book, and you try to put this stuff together. They ain't got time to spoon feed your ass. You're in college. You don't operate the way you were in kindergarten. You're raising your hand while the teacher talking all the whole time. It's, you, a, a college instructor is on, and even high school, they got get so they got get through so much. And because you know how to read, study, and pay attention and listen, you're supposed to have developed your skills to where you can move along quickly and learn this information, take your ass home and study. So that you can be prepared for the next session. And okay, I got that. Okay, so she has taught. Now you have taught. When you get to the end of that, now a decision has to be made. And because you are the head of the company, you have to take in consideration what your employees or your people have said. So now, with, because you want your business to be successful, you got to let them know, I did hear you. But because of A, B, and C, I have to be able to make this decision. And I will make the best decision for this company because I want this company to stay afloat. This is your company. The, the employees sometimes don't give a damn about your company. They just want that check. But when you are fully committed to the success of your business, your company, your family, when you are in for it, sink or swim, you know you've got to make a decision that all of the people there, their needs are met. That's your job as a king. That mother queen needs certain things so that she can do her job effectively. So as a man, my job is to make sure that she gets these resources to raise my family. And that should be a passion in you. You work two, three jobs to get the resources in, talk to people, make little changes and call, whatever. You're doing everything you know to do with the skills that you've been given 
in order to make this thing work. But if that other person is not committed to the harmony and the goodness of, of all, now they just think about themselves, they just think about themselves, they're not, they're just thinking about, that's an employee. Just like me, I don't, I'm the same way. I go to a job, look, I want my check. I ain't here to be with you all the time. I came here to work for you. I'm going to give you what we contracted to do. And when I hit that bell to clock out, I'm out of there. It's not my commitment. But when it's a family, that's the difference. This is your family. This is your future. This is your legacy. This is your DNA going into the future and you sitting up there talking about you and you don't realize these kids need you and father to work in unison. But you're sitting up here creating a goddamn acid environment that is not. And your, your intention is to create acid. Your intention is not to create harmony. You got to know what your partner needs. And if your partner, if you're the leader and your partner saying, I need to lead, that's an organization that's not going to, I'm the easy L. You trying to become a part one with me. I ain't trying, as a man, I'm really not trying. I don't choose a woman that, why the fuck would I marry uh, someone like Oprah? And think I'm going to lead her. You're a goddamn fool. Oprah's a damn fool. She marries me and think I'm going to lead. Goddamn. We're not matched. That's not a good. That's not a good match for you. Especially if she doesn't understand. Which I doubt she would. How to submit to a man. And I ain't all that high. I'm a good man. But I got enough good common sense to know. That's unequally yoked. Unless you getting ready. If you're ready. To hand your wealth over to me and let me manage the whole thing. Now, I'm sure she got those things that I would constantly counsel with her about. Okay, how you been doing this? Okay, is this what I... I got to learn from her too. But in her spirit, she's got to know, I need to make this man feel like I want to become his... I want to be his husband. His, uh, his husband. His wife. I want to be his wife. I want to make him great. I want all this that I do, I give it to him. If that woman is able to do that, which is very rare, but if she was there, I can understand her doing it with me because I'm a goddamn good ass man and I know how to treat that kind of, you give that kind of power to me, oh hell, you got me at your beck and call, baby. I'm going to do what's right. For you so that I'm going to treat you like the woman you need to be. The queen. You got damn real. You got it going on. Uh, Talking about getting some land. Some good goddamn fertile land. What I got to worry about. Okay. So I'm saying this to you as a man. When when that conversation. She uncalled. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.